Welcome to Einstein's Mechanics. In today's episode, we are going to talk about eigenvalues and eigenvectors, which is very important in the study of mathematics and physics. So here, for a given n by n matrix, in order to start to evaluate the values for the eigenvalues and the eigenvectors, we must know this expression which says a multiplying x should be equal to a certain lambda multiplying the same x are we okay so here this a is what we call our matrix the a is our matrix this x is the same as this x and the x is what we call our non-zero eigenvector eigenvector whilst this lambda is a scalar and this scalar is what we are going to refer to as the eigenvalue are we okay so our aim is to find the eigenvalue lambda and also find the eigenvector x are we good so this expression means that if we have a matrix a being multiplied by the eigenvector it is equal to the eigenvalue multiplying the eigenvector. This is what we mean. So once we know this expression, we can verify and see. So let's try and see if this expression is really true. So assuming we have a matrix A and this is 3, 2 and we have 3, negative 2. Let's take an eigenvector should be equal to say 2 and 1 are we okay so now let's try and find out if we are going to get the eigenvalue for this we know that matrix a which is 3 2 3 negative 2 multiplying this vector which is 2 1 we are saying it is equal to a certain lambda multiplying this vector again 2 and 1 are we okay so this matrix multiplication this is a 2 by 2 matrix this is a 2 by 1 so we can multiply since the number of colon is equal to the number of row here now if we are going to perform this operation this is what we are going to get at the a multiplying the lambda part or a multiplying the vector part this is what we are going to get. This is 3 multiplying 2. In one bracket, we are going to get 3 multiplying 2 plus 2 multiplying 1. Multiplying 1. Then the second row, this is 3 multiplying 2 and plus negative 2 multiplying 1. So this is going to give us 8 and 4 for the A matrix multiplying by the eigen vector. This is what we are going to get. Are you okay? So we are saying this eight and four should be equal to a certain lambda multiplying the eigen vector, which is two and one. So here, to make this expression true, we can only see that this part is, so I can bring a four out, remaining two and one. It should be equal to a lambda 2 and 1. So when you check, this part is equal to this part, and this lambda should be equal to 4. Therefore, our eigenvalue should be equal to 4. In order to make the expression true, our eigenvalue should be equal to 4, such that this 8, 4 will be equal to the eigenvalue for multiplying the eigenvector 2 and 1, and that will be equal to 8 and 4. So this is what we wanted to establish. If the relation A multiplying the eigenvector should be equal to a certain eigenvalue multiplying the eigenvector, are you okay? So here we've seen that the eigenvalue is 4. Are we good? So now, we can also move forward and see how best we can find 
the eigenvalue again. From the expression, now we know that a multiplying by this should be equal to the eigenvalue multiplying by the eigenvector. I want to manipulate this formula by multiplying this right hand side by an identity matrix. Remember, an identity matrix is like we are dealing with two by two matrix, so this is one zero zero one. It's like multiplying the left hand side or the right hand side by just one because they are only ones on the principal diagonal. Are we okay? So the expression now will look like a multiplying this equal to lambda and we have the identity multiplying the eigen vector. If I'm to take it, I will say a by that minus lambda i n. And the eigen vector should be equal to zero. Are you okay? Don't be bothered by the identity. It's just like having a equal to b times one. It's the same thing as a equal to b. This one is the identity here. So here, since the eigen vector is common, I can factorize it out. So this will be a minus lambda i n eigenvector this way equal to zero. Are we okay? Remember this expression is not equal to bringing the eigenvalue or eigenvector out here like this a minus lambda i n equal to zero. This is not equal to this because multiplication of matrices is very crucial and it is not commutative. So since we saw that it is at the right hand side, that's why we are going to factorize it to the right hand side. Are we okay? So let's pay attention to that part. Now we have this expression that we are going to use to find the eigenvalue. In order to find the eigenvalue from this expression, we are going to find the determinant of this matrix. The determinant of the a minus lambda i n this and it to zero with this expression you can find the eigenvalue for the matrix where a we know that a is the matrix lambda is the eigenvalue and our i n is the identity matrix. Are you okay? So there are two formulas you must pay attention to. Is this part as one and the expression which says a by this equal to lambda by that. The x are equal. This is eigenvector, the eigenvector. Are you okay? So we are going to stick to this to find the eigen value. So let's look at an example. We are to find the eigen value, find the eigen value from the matrix. So let's look at the matrix. This is our matrix A, and this is equal to 3, 2, negative 1, 0. This is the matrix given, and we have to find the eigenvalue. Are we okay? So, solution. We know that from the expression, we have this A minus lambda, the identity, multiplying the eigenvector should be equal to zero. Are we okay? But if we want to deal with the eigenvalue, we are going to equate this part to zero, which is going to be the identity of this part, identity A minus lambda I N is equal to zero. That's the determinant of this part is equal to zero. Now, to find the determinant of this 
A is a matrix, I N is a matrix. So let's first perform the subtraction operation and find the identity of whatever is left. Are we okay? So something like A minus lambda I N, which is going to be equal to, we have the matrix A as 3, 2, negative 1, 0 minus lambda. Lambda is a scalar multiplying the identity for a 2 by 2 that's 1 0 0 1 so first we can still go on and perform the operation performing this operation we can say it is equal to now this matrix will come which is 3 2 negative 1 0 which is minus I'll multiply through by the scalar that will be lambda 0 0 lambda is that true and this finally can be equal to this matrix minus this matrix and that is going to give us 3 minus lambda 2 minus 0 which is 2 and we are also going to have negative 1 minus 0 which is negative 1 and 0 minus lambda that is also going to give us negative lambda so this is what we have for the matrix a minus lambda i n so now that we have this we have to find the determinant of this matrix so the determinant of the matrix which is that is going to be we know the determinant is the sum of the diagonals minus the other diagonal so the product of this minus the product of that are we okay so that is going to be 3 minus lambda multiplying negative lambda minus 2 multiplying negative 1 for this matrix and we are going to try and expand this this is going to give us negative 3 lambda plus lambda square minus negative 2 are we okay so this is going to be finally lambda square minus 3 lambda plus 2 so this is what we are getting and we are saying before we can find the eigenvalue we have to also equate this determinant to zero equal to zero so now this is the determinant and if we are going to equate it to zero that will be lambda square minus three lambda plus two equal to zero this is a quadratic equation where we can solve to find the roots are you okay so let's try and find the roots so solving this equation we can expand it to be equal to this is equal to zero so that will be lambda square minus a certain lambda minus two lambda plus two equal to zero and when we solve this we are going to get our lambda out lambda minus one minus two and lambda minus one equal to zero so the roots that will be lambda minus two lambda minus one equal to zero therefore the values for lambda will be lambda is equal to two and lambda is equal to one so from the question the eigenvalues are two and one so therefore the eigenvalue are two and one for the matrix are you okay so once you know the steps to follow and go by it you'll be able to find the eigenvalue so you can go ahead and find the eigenvector from the eigenvalues but in this example we are only finding the eigenvalues pay attention always find the determinant of this a minus the lambda identity matrix 
equal to zero and that will help you to find the eigen values very good in the next episode we are going to solve an example solving for the eigen values and the eigen vector as well thank you for watching this episode check out for the next episode